Meteorologist Lainey Pope is tracking some more comfortable conditions as we get ready to start another Monday work week. That's right. We had clouds roll in today and then rain this evening and that rain now is moving out of our area. In fact, it'll be a whole lot quieter overnight. Had a little bit of thunder and lightning with this and some heavy downpours over parts of Stokes County, Rockingham, Northern Guilford, as well as Forsyth County. You see about a quarter of an inch near Greensboro, but those areas shaded in green more than an inch of rain and that is all now moving southeast of us as a cold front is moving in. So that's going to bring in some slightly cooler air, but more importantly, drier conditions conditions, meaning that the air is going to be a little more comfortable heading into Monday. Temps right now are still warm. It's still humid, but by tomorrow morning, you should notice the difference. We down to about 63 degrees. We will have a few patchy clouds around in the morning, but a good bit of sunshine in the forecast tomorrow. Upper 50s, close to 60 in the foothills and then in the mountains. We'll start the day in the mid 50s. The first part of the week looking good, comfortable, but then we've got some summer heat on our seven day forecast. I'll be back with more on that. <laughs> Every time we see that lady, I'm just like, how? Right. <laughs> like you said, cold water. Right. So right. hot. Yes. It's pretty impressive what they do. Though. That's Incredible. for sure. Well, I tell you, what, a lot of folks diving into the pool over the weekend, and we've got some hot weather coming up later this week that'll make you want to be close to a body of water. Take a look at Blues Lake earlier this afternoon, where we start off with sunshine, and then the clouds start to roll in. Look how crowded it is on a Sunday. Yeah, once those skies turn dark, though, if you're on the water, you need to start paying attention, listening for thunder. We did have a little bit of thunder and lightning out there today, as well as some heavy downpours across the area. Most of that rain is now moved out. We've got some light rain now still over Randolph County. Rainfall totals just over a tenth of an inch in Winston-Salem, just a few one hundredths in Mount Airy. But you notice that in between along the Yadkin River, you see some heavy rain. Also, the border of Rockingham, Guilford County in particular, seeing some rainfall totals that were easily over an inch in those areas shaded in green. We'll take it a little bit closer to show you some of the communities about a half of an inch in McLeansville, just over an inch just north of Winston Salem, inch and a half just south of Danbury and looking at close to two inches there up over the border into southern Rockingham County. We had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings that were to our southwest from Asheville down into the Greenville Spartanburg area. Nothing showing right now, but you still have quite a bit of lightning down to the south over eastern South Carolina. Our front is moving through, so behind that we will have some clouds thinning. We'll have a little more sunshine for you tomorrow. We're also going to have some cooler high temperatures. You can see on the other side of the front and we'll have some lower humidity air, so it'll feel more comfortable right now. Still a little bit sticky out there. We're in the mid to upper 60s from Greensboro over to Winston Salem. We've got dew points that are in the 60s too. That's a measure the amount of moisture that's in the air. The more water there is in the air, the muggier, the steamier it feels. We've got dew points over 60 degrees. That's pretty typical for summer, but we're going to see those dry significantly in fact into tomorrow morning and especially into tomorrow afternoon that drier air moves in with dew points that are only around 50 degrees so less humid Nice westerly breeze tomorrow, highs that are in the low 80s, which is below normal for this time of year. I know it's been unusual so far, but we are going to heat up and just in time, right? With highs in the 90s, we're getting closer to summer. We're just over a week away. June 20th is the official start of summer. The summer months we're anticipating are going to be warmer than normal. June, July and August across the southeast, also potentially wetter than normal conditions. Now, Monday is going to be a dry day. Not only will the skies be dry, the air will be as well. Winds out of the west, 5 to 10 miles an hour. High temperature up to 82 tomorrow afternoon. We're going to start around 60 degrees in the foothills. Our noontime tip is in the 70s, and then we should get close to 80 by late day. Mountain forecast looks good, too. It's not going to be completely sunny for anyone, but I do think we'll have a fair amount of sunshine, few patchy clouds. Breezes are up some in the mountains, 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. Your Monday map has low 80s from Columbia, Charlotte, Raleigh for highs, also patchy clouds. Morning temperatures get a little chilly, closer to 50 degrees for Tuesday morning in the mountains. By Tuesday afternoon, maybe a few storms toward the coast. Otherwise, it's dry across most of the Carolinas. And then Wednesday morning, also kind of cool, even some 50s expected in the triad for Wednesday morning and highs that are unusually cool for us. We'll look for a climb though into the upper 80s and low 90s for the latter half of the week and into the weekend and we may bring back at least a few pop up thunderstorms by then.